What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the JW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome. In today's episode, I'm going to be going through T.Y. Hill and I'm going to be giving you my honest thoughts on T.Y. Hilton. No bull crap, no no BS, all real stuff in this channel. So let's get right to chase with T.Y. Hilton. Um, So first off, I want to say T.Y. Hilton is around 650 yards, 604 yards to be exact, away from 10,000 yards. And that's a big accomplishment, not only for him. But if he reaches that, the Indianapolis Colts will be the only team in the NFL to have three receivers to have hit 10,000 receiving yards. You know, of course, Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, and now T.Y. Hilton. That's going to be awesome. So now let's get to my honest thoughts about T.Y. Hilton heading into next year. Um, Now, as we all know, T.Y. Hilton is definitely getting older, and he's definitely not as fast as he was. He's not in his prime, but... He has learned to evolve his game and to not need as much speed. You know, he has turned himself into an amazing route runner. He has really good hands. T.Y. Hilton has just, he, he knew, he figured out how to evolve his game to the way he's going in his career right now. You know, I'm not talking bad of him at all. He is an amazing wide receiver. But the thing is, it's just a thing of life. You can't play, in a, you can't play football forever, you know. Um, can't you can't even you know Tom Brady's gonna retire in a few years you know yeah he's playing for 45 he's freaking insane not really good in comparison because he's just he's just freaking god at this point you know what I'm saying but um man playing with the torn MCL and everything he did but you know T.Y. Hilton is you know a fan favorite of course we all love T.Y. Hilton he's been with the Colts for as long as we know for as long as we, we, we can remember um Back in 2012, I believe it was, when Andrew Luck was drafted. He was drafted in the same year. Um, and, then, and the dynamic duo went on to form an amazing dynamic duo. Um, man, I really loved T.Y. And if I put the bias aside, I don't think T.Y. is going to get a lot of playing time this year. Um, you know, I think he's going to get enough. I think he's going to get a bit. Of course, he's going to get a lot. Of course, he's going to get a bit. But I think Chris Ballard and Frank Reich, I think they're starting to realize, you know, they're starting to realize Michael Pittman, Zachary Pascal, um, Paris Campbell maybe even. And there's a few other guys there that can really show out. And, you know, D.Y. Hillen has, you know, has had some injury concerns lately. He has had some of those issues. And that's what, and that's going to happen as you get older in the NFL. You're going to have some more injury concerns. You're going to, it's going to be more difficult to come back from injuries. And a few times when T.Y. Hilton caught the ball, he just didn't seem the same. He just didn't seem to be able to run as fast. He just didn't. You know, I don't know if it's just me. You know, he just didn't. And it stinks to see him going to an end. But, you know, T.Y. Hilton is, uh, is still an awesome player. You know, whether he's going to show it on the field or not, um, I really hope he does get that 640 yards to – do that because that'd be awesome if we're the only team to have three receivers in history to have over 10,000 receiving yards that that would be awesome but man um man um T.Y. Hilton man you know he's had the Colts for such a long time and you know it kind of stinks for him getting this old but you know it's NFL and that's what happens it, it is what it is so let me know let me know your guys' honest opinions on T.Y. Hilton. Um, I try my best to give you guys my honest opinions. Um, T.Y. Hilton is one of the only players in the NFL I legit kind of cannot keep my bias out of. Um, he, He's such an inspiration to me, to so many other people. Um, five foot ten, being an amazing receiver in this league. Um, absolutely love T.Y. And as I was saying before, he's not only a great player on the field, He's an amazing player off the field in the locker room. You know, he's a motivator. He can motivate. He could talk. He could talk and get their go and, and, and get them going. He could. Even if you don't hear him talk a lot, he, he can do that. That's that's no issue. <clears throat> Man. Man. So, you know, he could always help the young vets. You know, as he said before, you know, he went from Marvin to Reggie. From Reggie to T.Y., and now it's going from T.Y. to Pittman, Pascal, Campbell, whoever it, whoever it may be that's going to be that next number one receiver for the Colts for years to come. But will the Colts actually have a number one receiver next year? I'm not sure. I think it's more so going to be, you know, a top 10, top 12 
receiving group, but not necessarily a top 10 receiver in that group, if you get what I'm saying. Because, you know, it's not a bad thing. You always want all their players. You, know, you, you always want someone stepping up, and Zach Pasco does that. Pittman does that. T.Y. does that, of course. Um, so let me know you. Let me know your guys' honest thoughts on T.Y. Hill and Eugene Marquis Hilton. Um, let me know what you guys think. So, as always, you know, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.